Tom Nom Nom recently released his JavaScript analysis tool, JSLoose, which is interesting because it operates with an interesting paradigm compared to a lot of JavaScript analysis tools, which simply use regular expressions to find matches of strings or objects that we are looking for. Uh, JSLoose, by comparison, uses the syntax tree rather than applying regular expressions to the base JavaScript. So it's looking for very specific um, syntax structures within the JavaScript. So we've downloaded some JavaScript files to play around with here, as you can see by listing the contents of uh, this directory. And we can experiment with two of probably what are going to be the most used features of JSLoose, looking for uh, URLs and paths and looking for secrets contained within JavaScript files. So it's actually quite simple to use once you've installed it. It is a Go package, of course, which should be pretty easy to install if you have Go installed already. And this is how we specify we're looking for URLs. And I'm just going to indicate that we're looking across all the JavaScript files that are in this folder. Uh, of course, I've already downloaded these files from an engagement using uproot.js. And you'll see that it returns a number of JSON objects for us. So we can actually make this a little bit easier to read by using the jq command to process uh, the JSON under the command line. And there you go. Um, we can see that the tool has extracted a number of URLs and paths that it's identified. Unfortunately, nothing looks particularly interesting in this specific case from these JavaScript files. Um, but you can see that the tool produces really nice output. It gives us the URL. It shows us um, the, uh, uh, the location of the file. It shows us um, some context around where it has found these URLs or paths. And if you wanted to clean this up even further, you can use the JQ tool um, with a field selector to select the URL. Um, and then you can just copy these, you know, maybe you have a very long list and you want to use some type of web fuzzing tool like Fuff or WFuzz. You can just copy these to a text file, um, you know, get rid of the, uh, the double quotes and, and, and do with them uh, what you will. Uh, we can also just change the URLs to secrets to look for secrets. It's as easy as that. So I delete URL. I look for secrets and unfortunately we found none. So this isn't a very good example but that's how you use the tool. It is very easy to use. So uh, please do go and give it a try and see what you can find.